is well educated. He has a PhD, and right now he's doing his PhD. Now, if, I, I, if, if, I, if I may cut in here, yes. supposing he gets the PDP ticket, what must you think he actually has the clout to defeat Peter. the candidates of probably the APC? Oh, yeah, no, that is if he gets the PDP ticket. What makes you think he has the clout to defeat uh, the candidate of, say, uh, another political party? Yeah, you, you can see it yourself here. Yeah. Look at the crowd here. Yeah. It's only just two days ago we thought of this uh, declaration. And look at what, what you can see. This is a man. This is a sample of what you can see. He is a man for the people. People love you. He's a classic man. He can win the election. People love you. He has color action. And PDP, he is a PDP state. So once he has a PDP ticket with his popularity, he will defeat every other person. Because this is a PDP state and he's a person loved by people. Okay, thank you very much, Honorable uh, Sasa. Power to the people. Power to the people. Power 
out to the people. ADP. Our great leaders of the PDP Delta States and across the nation that are present with us here. The Director General of the Delta People's Forum and his wonderful team. My beloved wife and all the mothers that are gathered here. Our youths, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen of the press. Today, I would love to appreciate God for his glory that are taking up today in Delta State. I return all the glory to God. Delta is precisely in 2005, I was an advisor to the governor of Delta State on urban and regional planning. Within that period, I had the opportunity of going around the entire 25 local governments in Delta State. I spoke with local government chairmen. I spoke with councillors. I spoke with workers in the various local government council. I spoke with various stakeholders. And when I came back to Asaba, I produced what is called the economic engagement document for Governor James Bory. The import of that document was to bring about jobs for our youths, to give economic empowerment to our women, our men, and general development to Delta State. Today I would love to announce to the good people of Delta State that I have already incorporated that document into my roadmap for the development of Delta State. We are going to implement it. Delta, I would love to let you know that it is possible and we are going to do it. I resigned from the Federal Executive Council as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I stayed as a minister for an unprecedented period of over six years and three months. It is only God that did it. That same God is still alive. Yes. Yes. That times from February till now, I have been going around all the local governments in Delta State, talking to party leaders in the PDP, talking to traditional rulers, talking to our mothers and our sisters, talking to our youths, talking to our boys, talking to various groups. I saw what transpired in the heart of the people of Delta State. I saw a Delta State that is loved by God. I saw in Delta State a state that is full of quality human capital. I saw in Delta State a fertile land, a land that is waiting for Deltans to put to use. I saw in Delta State love. I saw in Delta State a state that is desired to live together. I saw in Delta State a state that has people that are interested in talking to themselves. I saw in Delta State a state made up of people that are committed to moving Delta to its dream land. I saw in Delta State looking for an agent, an agent of love. 
an agent that can bring everybody together, an agent that